So, first of all, I want to thank you so much for having us and giving us the opportunity to sit down and be able to educate the public, we hope, also on some of the decisions and how things are done. you got a little bit more time left this school year. What are you looking to try to get accomplished? What hurdles do you see for the upcoming school year? I know I think I read the other day where you're getting some new school buses for your transport fleet and that kind of thing. But what is it that you hope to accomplish? And out of some of that stuff, what is the one thing you want to accomplish more than anything before the school year's out? Well, thank you for that question. I'm really excited about where we're situated in Williamson County Schools. One of the board's strategic plan goals is to get to a 24 a ACT composite score. Last year, we were at a 23.5. We've gone up every single year for the last five years. We're going to be better than the 23.5 this year. Hopefully, we're going to get closer to the 24 mark. So, obviously, one of my main priorities is to accomplish that strategic plan goal, and that is continuing to get students uh, a higher ACT score so that they can go to college if they choose with scholarship money in hand and not burden mom and dad, you know, checkbook. So we're, we're focused on the academics. We're also focused on athletics and arts. We have a fantastic fine arts festival that for the second year in a row that's going to be hosted at the factory. And so I'm looking forward to that program blossoming where we can really showcase our kids with talent in the arts, uh, whether it's dance, singing, or, uh, you know, two-dimensional art or three-dimensional art. I'm really, really looking forward to that. And that is part of our strategic plan goal. And then finally, just from the fall sports, we had over a million dollars of scholarships offered to our athletes. And so as we approach the spring sports, I'm looking forward to a safe a winning season in all of our, our competitions and allowing students to take it to the next level, to the collegiate level, if they're interested in pursuing uh, scholarship opportunities uh, in, in the sport area. And then finally, our challenges, um, you know, our challenges are growth. We're expecting to grow by almost 1,200 students uh, next, between this year and next year when school starts in August. And obviously that means more school buildings, more buses, more employees, trying to make sure that we're balancing, uh, managing the growth and getting the highest quality employees that we possibly can so that every single day when a boy or a girl walks into the classroom, they have one of the finest teachers in America. And so that's our focus and our challenge. And um, I'm, I'm optimistic we're going to continue going down the, the road towards progress. Thank you, Dr. Looney, again for having us. This is Clark Shelton with the Williamson Source.